Good morning. Good morning. We're about to go hike Potato Falls in Gurney, Wisconsin. Some like 500 steps. And we're going to show you each and every one. <laughs> Get ready. Danielle and I recently got engaged, jumped in an RV thanks to Recreation USA, and now we're out in the woods looking for waterfalls. We made it to the upper falls. And I found a rock. It was great to see so many waterfalls within such short hikes right off the highway. There was maybe 20 different ones in that area in Wisconsin. Beautiful. Now, back up the stairs. A lot of stairs. There's a lot of stairs. Worth it. <laughs> Let's do some more. Lower Falls. There are thousands of trails across America, and we're keeping an eye out for any good hikes along our way. We spend several hours, sometimes days, traveling, so we find it important to get out and stretch our legs and soak up some nature. All right, we made it to the Lower Falls. You can see that behind me. It's pretty gorgeous out here. Hot it's enough hot to enough. Yeah. take off our hoodies. Pretty great. And after all those stairs, we worked up a pretty hearty appetite, which brings us to the only reason we came to Wisconsin. The Benoit Cheese House. For those of you who know us, know that we absolutely adore cheese, and for those of you who don't, we absolutely adore cheese. Okay, so Ricotta mentioned that our first date four and a half years ago was a cheese date. And I didn't know jack about cheese, so I googled what makes the best cheese plate. I wanted to Swiss it up and make her feel good about it. And that really was the beginning of the fondution of our love. 14 year cheddar. 14 year old cheddar, almost half our age. It is half my age. It's taking a long time for this cheese come fruition. Mm. Just one of them things that gets sweeter with time. I did have a 20 year aged cheddar. It was a big block. That big. It's almost 50 bucks. Yeah. Otherwise, we all know that we would be on that right now. You know we love cheese. If you feel that we need to try the 20 year old cheddar, just uh, seek us out with a chunk of your own. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna wait till we're a little more uh, Fallen for some 20 year <laughs> cheddar. We'll wait till that that's half our age. I think that's when we can eat the aged cheese is when that's half our age. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, baby. Cheers. We have some locally brewed beer. I have a stout and he has a nut brown elm. South Shore Brewery. Northern Wisconsin's first microbrewery. Very good. You're doing good, Wisconsin. <laughs> One of our goals on this adventure is to find a, a mycologist out there, a mushroom enthusiast who wants to show us uh, how to forage for our own mushrooms in different regions. Uh, a few of our friends already gave us some pointers. And we've been uh, taking pictures of <laughs> all the mushrooms we see on the hikes and asking our friends if we can eat them or not. So far, no. All right. There's about 15 more minutes of us eating cheese, but we'll go ahead and move on. With a belly full of cheese, we decided to begin the long trek toward Montana, and Danielle drove the RV for the first time. How you doing? Um, I'm a little nervous. I've driven about five miles so far. I've been passed by like cars already. <laughs> right, in this big thing? Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm That's sailing. That's a lot to haul. <laughs> First time. Two weeks in, finally doing it.
We had originally planned to drive straight through North Dakota, but when we had to stop to clean the connections on our RV battery, we found ourselves only minutes away from a place that our friends in the band Soul Seed highly recommended, Laughing Sun Brewing Company. The head brewer Mike was very hospitable. He hooked us up with a variety of beers to bring to our friends as we slowly make our way to Oregon. Later that day, we took a break at Theodore Roosevelt National Park to meander through the Badlands just before sunset. Within minutes of our journey through the park, we saw an array of wildlife, among them deer, a town full of prairie dogs, and huge bison. The next morning we arrived in Montana where I immediately pulled out my tapestries and my ink and for the first time on our trip I got to sit down and do what I love most, tie-dye. We finally are settled in Billings, Montana, so I thought we would invite you guys to have dinner with us. And just built a fire. We are going to do a very easy dinner. We still haven't gotten our propane or our generator really looked at, so we've been eating dinner off the fire, which has been really nice. Um, so today we're gonna make a foil pack. It's just gonna be some simple veggies, and then we have this thing called a hobo pie maker. I don't know if you guys have ever seen or used one of those before. We used to use them when I was camping as a kid. Um, but you take the butter and butter the side of the bread and you stick it in this cast iron skillet and close it and seal it up. So I'm gonna make some garlic bread to go with our veggies. Pictograph Cave has cave drawings from thousands of years ago. Here's a picture of it as to where it actually ends up on the cave. You can see it over there. Pictograph Cave, located right outside of Billings, Montana. Can you believe that people were here thousands of years ago, Danielle? Yes. With such an awe-inspiring view, there was no better place to release my fall tapestry line. Come check it out. Your tie-dyes, they always tickle my eyes. They look like candy, but you're not supposed to eat them. Yeah, your tie dyes they always keep me so high. I like to roll them up, but I'm not supposed to smoke them. These tapestries were a big hit at the private event I played later that day. Right, man, keep you going to sight, man. Accomplish everything that you can do with one life, man. If you keep the mindset, you'll be dealt a nice hand. Every hand is so, 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 so. Where the Babylon is gonna rise and fall. New York City gonna rise and fall. New Old Order gonna rise and fall. When we first put out the word of our upcoming engagement adventures, a friend of ours, Kyle, who's a big fan of Treehouse, reached out to us and offered to set up a little backyard party. It's a warm feeling to have other good vibing people welcome you into their community, to arrive as virtual strangers, and to leave as family already planning the next reunion. Music really can bring people together. If you enjoyed this week's episode, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the next episode. Still eating cheese, let's do it.
So guys, I already made my first mistake. I did not buy foil or wax paper. <laughs> So, we're gonna figure out a new way to make this dinner. Well, that's our cheese episode. <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm sure there will be way more chances to watch us eat cheese throughout this journey. You'll see cameos from all these cheeses in the next <laughs> few uh, cheese clips. Yeah. Yeah. Go cheese triple.